one of you are fixing to get hurt. No, no, no. Nancy, uh, I don't know how she can make it on her own. I really don't. I can't do this. Please, Super Nanny. I am begging and pleading with you. Come in and show me how to hold my ground and to keep my kids from fighting so much. Mom, you're falling apart the seams, and um, I'm on my way. I'm so nervous. I've waited for this for so long. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Oh. Well, that's a great welcome. <laughs> when Joe first rang the doorbell, I was so overwhelmed with emotion. It was something that I've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. Hi, how old are you, Kelsey? Ten. Ten. Pleased to meet you. And you are? Bradley. Hi, Bradley. Pleased to meet you, Joe Joe. Hi. <laughs> hey, Geek, come out. Come and say hi. Well, shake my hand. Jojo, pleased to meet you. How old are you? I'm five. Just after I arrived, cheerful mood in the house didn't last for long. And I got a chance to see that temper that Mum said Hagen had when she asked him to come in from riding his skateboard. Get inside. Why not? When Hagen doesn't get his way, he goes crazy. Open the door, Hagen. Followed him. I don't know why. You still can't ride it. Running away. Where are you gonna run away to? Who cares? That's a pretty big threat from a five-year-old. Stop right now. When Hagen's going off, I don't know what to do. Uh, the frustration, the it skyrockets. Room. Get out of my room and go in there. That's it. Yeah. Acting like that. I think Jensie has got to a point where she just loses her patience. Her child hits her, and in anger, she just smacks him back. Stop and it's it. just fire with fire. It's not resolving a situation in a positive way. Quit being late. After dealing with Hagen's temper tantrum, Mum wanted Kelsey to clean her own room, but she didn't really take to the idea. Kelsey, go do something with that room. Mm -mm. Go clean your room. No. Kelsey. No. Kelsey's smart mouth and sasses off to me all the time. Go clean your room. No. Yes. Let go of me. Kelsey. No, Mom. Oh, I hate you. Kelsey gave Mom some real attitude, but what came next was unbelievable for a 10-year-old. Oh, my word. I couldn't believe the drama. There was Kelsey having this emotional meltdown fit for a four-year-old. I don't know what to tell you. I hate you. You know what I'm starving to death. If you were starving to death, Kelsey, then you eat what was in there. When Kelsey didn't get her way with the food, it made me feel like a horrible mother because my 10-year-old is throwing such a huge fit. You can have something to eat, but you've got to calm down and come in the kitchen and get it. Well, Jensie's obviously pandered to this behavior before. I mean, ridiculous. You know, that's life. Sometimes things don't go the way you want them, and it's important for children to recognize that. Come on. I hadn't been in the house very long, but all I had seen was Jensie continuously fighting with the kids. So I really wanted to pull her aside and find out how she really deals with this all. What's going on? What's going on in your head? It's just so hard on me. And they just make it harder and harder every day. Every day. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I can't wait to get to work. Jensie told me that she'd rather be at work than at home with her own kids. I can clearly see that she's at the end of her rope. I don't like their hatred and their anger towards me when all I do is work, work, work. You know, and give them everything they want. So what about you then? What about me? So I see my point. So I don't have time to think of myself. It's hard, but I do it for them. I don't want to be somebody that 
is always upset or sad. And you've got no life, and you work in two jobs. And I was happy. Yeah, pretty much. Coming up on Super Nanny, Joe makes Jensi face the hard truth. Jensi, what happens when they're no longer here anymore? I don't know. They're my wife. When Super Nanny returns.